Hi friends, this is Sagar from Infinity Classes. Today we are going to study about computer networks. So computer networks by that, what we mean? We mean it is a collection of computers or nodes. Those nodes can be anything like here we can see it can be a PC, it can be a server, it can be a laptop, it can be a printer, it can be a Macintosh, it can be any device which is connected in a network. So network is the interconnection between all these devices through different medias like wireless medias, or through wired medias. So now we are going to study about different wireless medias and wired medias. So these are called physical medias. So there can be different physical medias like wired media, we have uh, coaxial cables, we have uh, optical fibers and different cables like that and in wireless we have Wi-Fi like that kind of things which involves radio waves, microwaves and infrared waves all those kind of waves. So when we are dealing with networks so the first thing that comes to mind, why we need a network? So why we need computer networks? So that is the main question. So the thing or the answer to that is because we need to share data. Because nowadays people are connected over a wide range. Suppose someone sitting in a different city like Delhi or someone sitting in California or someone sitting in uh, say Moscow. So they, need, they are working on a common project. So they need to connect. For that, they will connect through a network. They will connect through a network and the main idea of that will be to transmit data. Those transmit data can be bi-directional, that is both ways. Every node are connecting to each other and talking for the main reason of transmitting data. So now we are going to study about what are the different types of networks. So we can divide networks depending upon their reach. Reach means the extent of the network. So size or reach. So there are different kind of ways through which we can differentiate networks, but the most easiest way is through size or reach. So that has three types. So these are the three different types of network depending upon their size or reach. So first we are going to study about local area network. So local area network is a network in a building or a premise like this. So this is an office, this may be a small business, this may be a building and these are the different devices that are connected in a network and they are need to transmit data within each other. For that time of network we establish what we call as LAN, local area network. Now we are going to study about metropolitan area network. So that is metropolitan area network. So these are just simple collections of LAN. That is in a city we use MAN like this one connection, this one connection, and this one connection. So these are different LANs. These are different LANs which are connected to each other. And it is spread over a distance of a city. Of a city means of a large area. So this is called metropolitan area network because it's the network in a city. So why we will require this? For example, there is one uh, hospital and there is one another hospital which requires to connect with a college, a medical institute, those who are researching about a certain disease or something. So in this network, this hospital may communicate with this college and vice versa. So this helps in a network in a spread over area. Next comes wide area network. That is wide area network. And the basic criteria for wide area network is that the distance must be greater than 30 miles. That is the distance must be greater than 30 miles. So any network spreading over a distance greater than 30 miles will be termed as wide area network. The biggest example for this is the internet. So it's just like for example we can draw the map of uh, India. Forgive me for that but somehow this will example. I will give an example about it. The different metropolitan area networks. These are the different metropolitan area networks like one in Kolkata, one in Chennai, one in Gujarat and one in Delhi. So these are connected 
and this network can be termed as wide area network because different networks are connecting to each other and mind this that this is an individual network if we disconnect this network it will still be termed as network because there are devices which are connected within them small devices so this is wide area network thanks for watching our videos if you like it then like our videos subscribe to our channel share to your friends and if you have any queries comment down below